the peace our god in our situation we will find almighty god joy in our storms be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged through the word with the word with the word in the word in the word in the word of god be encouraged in the word with the word and through the word of god be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged be encouraged all right so hey everyone today is my second day of prayer and i know that more than likely you guys won't see the first video till like a day later so i will post that video today so tomorrow god's willing you guys will see this video that i'm doing today but um uh, i just want to read from psalm 121 give me a minute yeah it says i will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the lord which made heaven and earth he will not suffer thy foot to be moved he that keepeth thee will not slumber behold he that keepeth israel shall neither slumber nor sleep the lord is thy keeper the lord is thy shade upon thy right hand the sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night the lord shall preserve thee from all evil he shall preserve thy soul the lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore amen and amen a portion of god's holy word we honor by saying Praise the Lord, and for others you say thanks be to God. Let us pray. Dearly and compassionate Father, we come to you, O Father, lifting our hands in worship unto thee. There is no other friend I know. There's no other brother I know. There's no other God I know, mighty God. And from then till now, mighty God, we have experienced you and know that you are the God that specializes in things that are impossible. That you are the God that specializes in the areas of our lives that we aren't able to control almighty God and today father as we read your word you said almighty God that you are our help in other verses almighty God it declares that you are our refuge almighty God in other areas of the Bible mighty God it says almighty God that you are our strong tower almighty God the righteous runneth into you and they are safe mighty God your word reminds us almighty Almighty God, that you are almighty God bigger that you are greater that you go beyond almighty god and above all things almighty god to come through for your children your word almighty god have described you almighty god has so many things almighty god that one person isn't able to be in our lives and today lord i thank you that you are for us and because you are for us almighty god the word declares that if God be for us then who can be against us mighty God we know that in you almighty God we are redeemed in you father we are saved in you mighty God we are set apart in you Lord we are made different in you almighty God we are enough in you mighty God we are enough and today mighty God as we're here we just want to thank you oh God we 
we are just thanking you almighty god for all what you are almighty god and what you are still about to do today mighty god i pray oh father that uh for a a spirit almighty god a, a gifting oh father a discernment oh father of acknowledging who you truly are in our lives mighty god there is a scripture i think in Hosea, almighty god or one of the minor prophets in the word almighty god that would have said almighty god that they thank you for the acknowledgement oh father of knowing who you are we thank you for the acknowledgement for the grace almighty god to give you thanks and today lord in this generation mighty god as what your word would have reminded us in timothy that in the last days perilous times shall come and people shall be lovers of themselves almighty god people shall be ungrateful almighty god and other things but lord god i pray today that your people almighty god will experience such an heavy grace upon their lives almighty god that they will almighty god know they will have no other choice than to acknowledge you as their lord and savior they will have no other choice almighty god than to reach out to you oh god as you pass us by they will have no other choice almighty god than to call upon you because oh father they need you there's a songwriter that declares and even the word almighty god that we call upon you in time of need almighty god and you hear and answer it their prayer even david almighty god would have declared that he will praise you almighty god because you have heard his cry you have heard his supplication and today mighty god today lord we want to be at a place oh lord where we can even remember all the times when you would have answered our prayer and stand in our trials and stand in our tribulation and say lord you are good lord you are great oh father we will find peace our oh god in our situation we will will find almighty god joy in our storms we will find almighty god understanding in an atmosphere where there is chaos because you are with us we have acknowledged mighty god that you are with us in the name of jesus right now lord for many persons oh god who are hollering almighty god who are dwelling in confusion in frustration in deception in the lies oh god of this world almighty god being worried because of all almighty god the news being fearful oh god of all because of all the news that have been going around oh god in their family over the media almighty god we pray right now almighty god that your word will be a stamp within their heart to say father that you did not give them a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind in the name of jesus we pray right now lord we pray right now mighty god that you will bring your people to a place oh father where daniel was where oh god in spite of the odds in spite of what may be stopping him and keeping him almighty father from giving you praise and praying to you mighty god they will still open their doors they will still open their windows they will still open their hearts almighty god to pray and to see you even more than how they were seeking you before mighty God we pray that the grace that you will pour upon us oh God will be one oh father that will birth a revival into the nation one oh God that will birth a revival in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth mighty God I pray right now father I pray right now, Lord, that those who have an hardened heart,
those who had who have stiffened their neck oh father those almighty oh god who would have turned away from righteousness mighty god let the power of your grace fall upon them so that they too almighty oh god can say oh father that I will serve the Lord for the rest of my life. I don't know what I have experienced, but this encounter have me on my knees. Hallelujah. This encounter have me, oh God, resisting the enemy. This encounter have me doing things unimaginable. Oh God, this encounter have me, oh God, yielding to the will of God. Today, Lord, we are ask oh father for a revival through your grace hallelujah mighty god in that same chapter almighty god it says almighty god that the people could not stop worshiping you because your grace oh god that was upon them to acknowledge who you are May, O oh Father, the grace that you pour up on us, O oh mighty God, have us, O oh Father, have us, O oh Father, in full obedience to your will and your command. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father God, Father God, we just submit to you today, Lord. We just submit to you today, mighty God. And we ask, Father, that you will have your way in our lives. Continue to order our steps. Continue, oh God, to order what we see, listen to, speak of, and think of. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Nearer, our God to thee your word declares that if we draw near to you you will draw nigh unto us father position us O oh father to draw nearer and nearer to thee in this time in the name of Jesus teach us O oh Lord let this be re let this revival be a revival be a revival that will have us Almighty God praying and seeking you and giving the word huh, in season and out of season in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there are so many unrighteousness so much unrighteousness that are in the church oh God that are in the schools that are on the roads but mighty God let there be a revival let there be a revival through your grace in the name of Jesus and others oh God that may be interceding others that may be praying in this time Lord arrest them oh father in your spirit oh father to intercede almighty oh God in unity on one accord in the name of Jesus Lord God we give you thanks for the move we give you thanks for this grace we thank you Lord for this revival in the name of Jesus and we say Amen and Amen. So be blessed everyone and have a great day. Have a blessed day. The songwriter declares, Nearer my God to thee. Nearer my God to thee. Never, my God, to thee. Never, to thee. Have a blessed day, rest of rest of day, guys, and we love you all.